Hello, my name is Calvin Harris. I am from New York. Well, Bayside, Queens. I live in Manhattan now. Uh, that is, I used to live in Manhattan because I'm moving. The cost of living in New York is expensive. The crime, the pollution, the price of life is very, very high. So I'm leaving Dodge. I'm getting out of Denver, baby. And I'm getting out while the getting is good. And so... I'm hanging out in the West Village, uh, sitting in my car, and waiting for my lady friend, Harriet. Uh, she's a girl I knew from high school, a friend who I'm giving a ride to. Uh, she's moving to Rochester uh, while I head for points west and shuffle off to Buffalo. <laughs> so I'm waiting in front of a house in the West Village, uh, you know, sitting in the car, and smoking some cigarettes, and uh, writing in my diary, you know. Dear diary. I hope to make some inroads with Harriet today, you know, pave some trails while crossing the great divide and the final frontier of our lives. Me, with my covered wagon and my trusted steed. Like Lewis, like Clark, on the Missouri tides. Gentlemen and ladies, start your engines, please. And don't forget, tighten up your seat strap, folks. There might be a little turbulence expected. For now, we'll boldly go where probably millions have gone before. Well, good morning, Carrie. Good morning. Ray. Good morning, Mr. Twelvestad. Drinking a beer already before an eight-hour drive. Oh, great. Well, you know, all night. Uh, I need to smoke fuel. I'm running on empty this morning. What is this new one? She definitely didn't appreciate oh, oh, Miami issue. As it's storm jumpsuit that uh, keeps me warm at night. Uh, so I said, well, well we no matter. Right this is going to be great. Uh, you know, this is it. This is it. You're moving out of New York City, you got four fucking bags. What is this? Well, she didn't say a thing about my new wheels. So I said, hey, Harry, what do you think of my new car? She says, what is this, Farfig Nugent? No, 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 I say, it's a Volvo. Volvo, Swedish car, goes in the snow and everything. Well, I quickly realized that she didn't like my $300 car. So I decided, well, never mind. I'll just lead it to the car and... Get her around and get her inside the seat. And, uh, she says, hey, is this air conditioned? I go, yeah, yeah, it's air conditioned. Uh, open your window. You, you got air conditioning. Then I say, Harry, Harry, are you okay? Because um, I hope you're not sick or nothing. Don't worry, Harry. It's going to be a great ride. Don't worry. So I get around the back of the car. I put on my shades. I climb in the cockpit. and oh, I said, Harry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, let's just go already. All right, all right. You buckle up for safety. Yeah, let me get your seatbelt. I'll do it later, okay? Do it later. Where did you get this stupid hat from? What this? Fucking uh, Miami Beat <laughs> from the news cafe. I got, I got one for you. Oh great! What a move, you know? You know, I told you that I was going up to Buffalo. You asked me for a ride, and now you got to cop this attitude. Let's just go, all right? I pretended not to notice when she looked down at the broken radio and she starts going, oh, no. Oh, no, she oh. says. I go, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What? The radio doesn't work? There's no fucking radio in this car? Oh, you don't worry about it. I'll sing for you. I'll oh, no. You. Seven hours of you singing? Oh, please. You'll love it, Harry. Oh, please. It was raining hot in Frisco. No. 
No, no, I got a better one. Oh, keep on trucking, baby. Oh, God. I gotta keep on trucking. Oh, keep on trucking, baby. I gotta keep on trucking. Yeah, after your good loving. Oh, so I said, she didn't like that. So I said, oh, Harry, I got a better one for you. I picked up a hitch a prisoner of white lines of the freeway. <laughs> the only thing she could say was, oh, no, oh, no. Harriet didn't like my singing, so I shot up for a few minutes, and we were heading up the West Side Highway, and uh, it started getting real hot in my jumpsuit, so uh, I pulled off, uh, and I pulled over into Grant's tomb, and I say, uh, Harry, I got, a, I got a joke for you. Who is buried in Grant's tomb? What are you doing? What I gotta take doing? my jumpsuit off. George Washington's white horse, of course. Uh, <laughs> she didn't like my joke. Uh, she gets out of the car and I'm trying to get my jumpsuit off. and uh, It's just, uh, you know, she was like mad again for some reason. And I, and I bet in her mind, she should have, she, she's saying to herself, you know, I should have taken a fucking bus. So we get back on the road, and uh, we're driving up the West Side Highway, and she says, Oh my God, I forgot my Diet Coke. I go, Diet sodas kill brain cells, I say. I say, uh, there's a couple of beers in the back. Beer, she says. Beer kills brain cells, she says, as we headed over the GWB to New Jersey. Speaking of killing brain cells... So we drove upstate. I've been changing, I've been rearranging love. I've been changing, I've been excavating, re examinating. I've been excavating.